Hello everyone, I'm cheerful today because I'm recording a video regarding one of my softwares, it is Kong Gateway. At Kong Summit 2019, they announced that from now on, you can develop plugins for Kong Gateway with Go programming language. Today, I'm gonna try to show how we can do that. Before we get started, let me introduce myself briefly. I am Matt and I have been working as a software developer for 5 years in backend field. I am getting my motivation from the community. In addition to that, I am one of Kong champions around the world. I would like to explain the purpose of this plugin. Obviously, it adds an extra layer for security between consumers and producers. Consumers send a consumer key in a query string and in this way, we are able to identify uh, the consumers. Without this parameter uh, or wrong parameter won't be worked and they will get an error message regarding that. In this video, uh, we define the K for a specific consumer and it has to send this K as a query string. After that, uh, we are matching the K in query string and predefined K in configuration file. So let's continue the topic. Uh, we are going to develop a plugin that checks the API K between client and server. When we call a service by URL, there will be a K parameter in the URL and it is supposed to be same with the value that I predefined. In another case, we will return a message like you have no permission to call this service. First things first, I'm using declarative configuration for con gateway. According to the website, it means a declarative configuration file contains the settings for all desired entities in a single file. And once that file loads, uh, is loads into Kong, it replaces the entire configuration. In this way, we can configure our plugins, our custom plugins. In my file, my service with root path, it will redirect this URL. I'm gonna show it. This URL. And mm, for example, uh, it will redirect this URL. At the same time, I have a custom plugin here and it will check the API key. Uh, before we get redirected, it will be run like a proxy service. That's always. Let's build the plugin with Go. I have already an empty Go file. It's called kchecker.go. And we are starting to write the plugin in this file. I'm importing the uh, Go PDK file. I'm gonna tell about this. For example, github.com, Kong, and copy pdk. What is this package? Go pdk allows our Go plugins to access functionality provided by the Kong pdk. To use it, we need to add github.com, Kong. PDK to the list of packages important by our plugin. Now we are going to create a struct for configuration. Type mm, config struct and it will be a parameter. It is API K and it is string. It represents to config parameters into the config.yaml config file. Now uh, we need to have a function called new for the plugin. It is supposed to have with a new 
interface uh, we need to have a function called new for the plugin and it returns an interface in this way after that uh, we will create a func in go programming language we figure out the request processing life cycle with request and response handlers i'm going to create a func called access it gets the requests and it responses according to need for example we can do that in this way func config it will be access func um, pdj and pdj type key and error uh, we are getting key parameter from the url with this line Query arc key and we need the parameter in the config file for example API key conf API key if there is an error we will log it well here well, we create dynamically sized arrays with building make function in go i'm gonna show it make and there will be a key context type content type we are going to append it will be json Uh, if the key of the client is not equal to the claimed key, uh, Kong doesn't ensure the proxy. We will create an if condition. If API key doesn't equal to key parameter, we can respond like mm, 403. You have no correct k for example i think it's about 20 lines of we have at this it is this could be enough i think let's check out the docker file um basically in this file we create a builder image and I copy I copy my local files into this image I build it as as a go plugin after that I get the files from the builder image into the Kong image hmm. I would like to mention about go plugin server here the role of this process is to dynamically loads the go plugins and execute their codes on demand based on the communication with go kong is responsible for managing the life cycle of the go plugin server and it only needs to know where to find or yes yeah, where to find the go plugin server path executable path in this case we would give it by running docker images however I'm using default path, therefore I don't need an extra parameter. 
plus don't forget when you build a go plugin it must same the compiler version same configuration same environment variables and so on with go plugin server to guarantee it i built my custom go plugin and go plugin server in the same docker image here yes well after that i copy my builded files into the conf image and it's ready to run as a container we need to just run related comments on the terminal firstly i build the image with this comment i'm going to the terminal and i'm going to build the image with the curve build for example conf demo the curve build conf demo and dot it's building by cache therefore it's so fast After that, I'm going to run the image as a containers. Yes, it's finished. Now we can run this image as a container. Docker images. And I'm going to run this image as a container with this comment. I'm defining some paths such as plugins directory or configuration files directory. Now we can call our service and look over the response. Well, it's running as a container at the moment. And I'm going to call our proxy service. For instance, show localhost. Yes, you have no correct key. As we can see, the proxy service didn't work well. Let's try it with actual API key. What was my secret? What was my key? My secret consumer key. I want to show it as pretty JSON. Yes. Cool, we have reached the correct JSON format data and proxy works fine. Yep. This plugin works like uh, a middleware and it tries to find the correct key for each request. Finally, we got the plugin with Go programming language and we can build what we need from now on with Go. I hope this tutorial will help writing new plugins for you. Thanks for the watching. See you next time.